Hey, it's Oscar Sketches. Um, today, uh, again, just doing a, uh, well, slightly more effort than last video video. <laughs> um, but still not adding in all the regular segments because still not doing great, but uh, I, I do want to just keep making videos whenever I can because uh, I love it and um, I just want to keep in the habit of uploading um, as well as like uh, starting to try to be okay with uh, uploading content that is not a hundred percent effort <laughs> you know because something is better than nothing I think and it's okay for me to start realizing I don't have to be perfect at everything um, so yeah I'm just gonna read my notes and talk about how my week was it was pretty normal pretty fun um, and yeah <laughs> let's get started uh, on Friday uh, Jody came over again uh, watched her for a couple hours and uh, we went for a walk uh, and then afterwards I, I fell, as fell asleep because I was exhausted <laughs> from you know getting up pretty early but it was fun and uh, she's starting to get uh, uh, much more comfortable um, around me uh, which is great because she's a very very nervous dog um, but she's starting to uh, to trust me a little bit, so that's um, that's really good. I'm glad to be building that bond with her because she's a really sweet dog. Um, I just want to be able to help her feel safe. Uh, on Saturday, I went uh, shopping for sewing supplies with my mum, and I finished uh, the wolf commission because I've been working on this plush wolf. I didn't show any uh, photographs of this one. Uh, in last week's video, but I, I want to show some today because um, I'm, I'm really uh, happy with how it turned out. Like um, I need the, I need to adjust the pattern a little bit more because uh, I had to do a lot of thread sculpting to get her to look good. Um, but I think she turned out really well, um, and uh, she's uh, she's off to her new owner now, and I uh, really really hope that they uh, they like her because. Um, uh, I worked very hard on it, and uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, the the new owner, my friend, has, has been getting all the updates, and uh, they've been really, really excited. So I am um, very, very excited about their reaction whenever she gets there. But yeah, um, uh, I also watched the the Barbie film uh, <laughs> for the first time, um, and I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I was not expecting it to go in the direction that it went in. <laughs> Like, I, I'd heard a couple things about the Barbie movie, um, the, uh, the thing I, I was expecting, um, it to be more of a, uh, uh, like a, a grounded tale about Barbie, um, realising that she's a toy or something and, like, gaining awareness and existential crisis that follows the existential crisis part that was uh that was in the film but i i was not expecting it to be so uh, uh to be i think it's how do you say that like um uh, politically charged i guess and like aware uh i would not have expected uh, uh a big film like that to be able to uh say those things and I'm really, really glad that they did uh, and that they were able to because um, it, it really, to me, felt like it shone uh, a light um, on on quite a few issues. And uh, I did think it was a little bit over the top, but, you know, it's a film, so it's going to be over the top. Um, but I thought it was, it was a very good balance of, of that serious um, and painful reality and um of you know still making it light-hearted enough for a for a barbie film <laughs> i am like really really happy with uh, that i was able to see it um with my my little sister uh my little brother and uh uh my mother uh and you know just spend a little little bit of time together uh, and finish a wolf plush had a, a good night that night um I also went for a walk uh, and I got a little buffalo plush uh, which I really really like. Uh, I think he's very very pretty and uh, I um, just found this one second hand 
uh, for like very cheap. Um, so I'm very glad to have gotten that one. Um, on Sunday, I reworked uh, this little plush rabbit. I actually have, uh, I think, maybe even two videos of me working on this. Because um, I, uh, 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 a while ago, I don't remember exactly how long ago, I, I made a video about sewing a plush. <laughs> uh, and I think uh, I, I had a project in mind, but it just didn't, I, the pattern I, I came up with didn't work, so instead I made this little rabbit. Um, and now that I am older and wiser and have a little bit more experience with plushes, I, I wanted to rework it a little bit and uh, I'm really happy with uh, how it looks now. Um, I also repaired some clothes for family members because now that I have a, uh, a good working sewing machine, everybody who has holes in their trousers or their shirts is coming to me like, hey, could you could you fix this for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> so I'm fixing everybody's clothes. <laughs> um, uh, on Monday, I recorded a little bit for YouTube. Uh, I streamed with a friend and uh, we read each other's stories. I drew some adults, uh, quite a big batch, um, though I don't think I've filmed, but these are all still, like not all of them, but a good chunk of these are still available. So if you want one of these designs, or all you have to do is go over to my Instagram. I have a link in the description, my adopts Instagram, uh, and you'll see uh, the post. Uh, just read the description, I check which adopts are available because that's listed in there. Uh, and if, if there's one you want, uh, let me know uh, and we can work something out. Um, yeah, and that's my plug for the day. <laughs> uh, I also wrote a lot for the, the Metabots roleplay. Um, because we, I think we just said, uh, hey, like, do we want to spend all day RPing? And we basically did. <laughs> I was, I remember I was drawing, uh, drawing an adopt, writing a reply, drawing an adopt, writing a reply. It was really fun. Um, yeah, then on, on Tuesday, uh, I streamed with a friend again. Uh, had therapy, uh, went for a walk, uh, wrote some more for the RP, um, subtitles a little bit of Metabots, uh, and played some Pokemon Legends Arceus for the first time in a long time, uh, and I really enjoyed it, I got like two shinies. <laughs> um, and I also got a new line plush, and I really, really, really like this one. This one was also second hand, but it was, it was, um, it was really cheap, because these are, both of these are like what actually are um, like uh, World Wildlife Fund, I think is the, uh, the English name for it, um, and a club plushies, and they are usually very expensive, especially the bigger ones. So I like got this one cheap, and it looks really good, I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, and on Wednesday I went to grocery, shop uh, grocery shopping with my mum, uh, and I shipped the Wolf Plush Commission. Oh, <coughs> out. Uh, I had therapy. Uh, I saw a method for making patterns online and I tried it. Yeah, this is really interesting because um, uh, I have been, you know, playing around with making my own patterns and this one was really interesting. So what you do is you wrap um, an existing plush in uh, tape, just paint tape, uh, and then you draw the lines on there of like the the pattern that you want and then you cut the tape off uh, and then you trace the uh, the, the shapes onto a paper and um, I'm very curious to see if this like works because <laughs> I've only um, traced it on I haven't like put it onto fabric and uh, and sewn it together yet so uh, I'm very curious uh, to see if that works because uh, that would be fairly easy, I think. Maybe you could try it with some different uh, um, uh, materials um, as well. Because uh, I've been tr I tried to do that with paper, just like stick or like try to uh, make a paper mock-up um, version based on like a plush I already have, but it's uh, uh, the paper isn't quite as, as uh, flexible, I guess, <laughs> as the the tape. So it's very interesting. But I think if I want to do anything that's bigger, uh, the tape would uh, it would cost a lot of tape. So I'd be interested in, in seeing 
uh, if there's any other things I'd be able to use. And also the tape like really sticks to the fabric so it's not as easy to like, get off again. Um, but it's it's very interesting and I, uh, I am just learning more and more every time uh, I, I try something like this and it's very exciting. Uh, and I really enjoy making plushes. I love plushes, honestly. That's going to be the, the theme for this week, I guess. Plushes. <laughs> um, on Thursday, actually, something really exciting happened is uh, the mobility aid uh, that I uh, got from the, uh, uh, as you know, part of governmental support. Um, I, I got a scooter as a mobility aid, and uh, it arrived this day, and. It's very surreal <laughs> for me. Um, it's f for now. I'm mostly like really happy and excited about it because um, I can do stuff again. Like I uh, on Thursday, I like I immediately went for like a ride around the block because I haven't been around the block in like a year or over a year actually. Um, and it was because I because I haven't been able to walk that far, so. It's it's been very cool to uh, uh, to you know go there again and like <laughs> just like just like go around the block because I haven't been able to. It's really it's like it's surreal is the best word for it. It's it's surreal to to, to be there again and to do that again, but in a different way, I guess, because I'm not walking, but riding, um, and. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I also like visited my grandma by myself, um, even though you know she lives a short like bike ride away. But um, I can't ride a bike. I can't walk there. So you know, whenever I want to visit my grandma, I have to wait for like first my grandma to have time to come pick me up uh, and uh, take me back home as well after, or my parents to drive me things like that. It's very. Um, it just it just takes a lot of planning I guess and I, I just feel so like dependent on everybody um, but now I can do it by myself uh, again which is really cool um, and that's just really awesome <laughs> to like be able to, to do stuff again um, and it's it's very exciting to to be able to go places <laughs> I guess um, especially places just haven't been able to go to uh, and, and do things I'm able to do, just like, you know, quote unquote ordinary things. Um, it's it's really exciting and I'm, I'm very happy about it, you know. Of course, there is also like the part of me that's like, <laughs> I don't want this, you know, I just want to walk. I just want to walk or like cycle. Uh, I don't want this, this stupid thing <laughs> to, to, to have to rely on this stupid thing to, to go places and to do things. But, you know, for now, I'm just, I'm really happy that I am able to do those things again. So I'm, I'm trying to focus on that um, and trying not to neglect that other part because that's also uh, an important emotional experience um, that I shouldn't be neglecting. <laughs> um, yeah, what else? Uh, I also called with a friend. I watched her play a video game uh, and she showed me her book collection. Uh, and I edited and uploaded my YouTube video just in time. Uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Um, who knows uh, what I'll be able what I'll be able to to make next week for YouTube? Maybe it's a little shorter like this. Maybe it's a little uh, longer. Maybe there's Minecraft. Maybe there's not. We'll see. I'm gonna try not to overwork myself and still give you something at least yeah uh so that's it thank you guys so much for watching um i still don't have a good outro but uh keep on sketching uh, have a great weekend <laughs> bye subscribe i guess <laughs> bye bye subscribe bye